Consumers today can choose from an almost unlimited variety of poultry meat and egg products. These products are abundant, nutritious, safe, and very affordable. Decades of scientific research have enabled the poultry industry to implement practices which allow the birds to thrive in a productive and comfortable environment. Consumers today are very curious about how their food is produced and want to know more about specific issues. One topic discussed often today is antibiotic use. U.S. Poultry has invited two noted experts to help us understand the use of antibiotics in the poultry industry. Dr. Randy Singer and Dr. Chuck Hoffaker will answer questions concerning current and future use of antibiotics in poultry. Hi, my name is Randy Singer. I'm an Associate Professor of Epidemiology at the University of Minnesota. I'm a veterinarian and I have my PhD in Epidemiology. The focus of my research program for the last 15 years has been really around foodborne pathogens and antimicrobial resistance and how to minimize risks to the animal populations, to the human populations, as well as in the environment. When I teach courses in infectious disease epidemiology to grad graduate students in veterinary medicine and in public health, we focus extensively on how we can create programs to reduce these disease risks to the animal populations and human populations. What we're going to talk about today with respect to antibiotic use. Antibiotics are a key part of a program to maintain the health of these animal populations. They have their potential risks, antibiotic resistance. And so what we're going to discuss today is how we try to minimize those risks from resistance developing in bacteria that affect the animals as well as the bacteria that can be spread to people through food. How does antibiotic use in poultry affect antibiotic resistance in foodborne pathogens? There is often a misconception that eliminating antibiotic uses will eliminate antibiotic resistance. And for many reasons, this is completely untrue. Antibiotic resistance has been around for eons. It exists independently of anything that humans have done, for instance, creating antibiotics. It occurs naturally in the environment. The addition of antibiotics produced by humans and then used in medicine, both veterinary medicine and human health, has resulted perhaps in a greater diversity of resistance and higher levels of it. But simply taking the antibiotic away will not eliminate resistance. There are many factors other than antibiotics that have the potential to select for these bacterial populations that are resistant to the antibiotics. This video was brought to you by U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors.